email's been a, been around a very, very long time. But I think one of the reasons why we're, we are revisiting it is because there are problems with it. The FBI, of course, has taught not that long ago the scale of of attacks, business email compromise and spear phishing are enormous. And the growth rate of attacks seems to be doubling on either a yearly basis or even more. But it's not just BEC or business email compromise and fraud. It's also the stealing of intellectual property. Basically, what happens if in your enterprise you lost your emails? Well, to Sony, the result of that was millions or, or even more dollars worth of damage in terms of loss of intellectual property, as well as all kinds of embarrassment, which is now still out on the internet to this day. The Democratic National Party has had a, a large chunk of its emails be made public, not something that I'm sure they intended or ever had wanted, but it, it had a, a large political impact. Yeah, and if you want to talk about impacts on these things, Jason, you know, the Sony breach ultimately cost the CEO of Sony her job. You, as the CEO, you can lose your job because you're not pursuing this kind of security correctly. And the DNC breach arguably cost the Democratic Party the presidency. <laughs> so, you know, the, the stakes are very, very high on these. The problems with email, which is a protocol that we've been using now for decades and decades, right from the beginning of the internet, just seems to continue. One of the solutions that had been proposed years ago which are S-MIME keys. I'll just bring up one simple problem with this, which is when I talk to customers about S-MIME, one of the issues they bring up is, well, if I lose my key, which is something that could happen just by a, by a hard drive of a computer just dying, how do I retrieve my emails? I, I will essentially be denied my own emails. It's great that the bad guys don't have them but or aren't able to crack them, but I won't be able to see them either. Therefore, there's innovation needed to break this cycle of insecure email. All right, so let's talk about S-MIME and what's required. Obviously, Lindsay's going to go into the roadmap of what Sigtigo is doing with this. But most of you out there who might know Sigtigo know that we, we are a big issuer of S-MIME certificates. But we go beyond that. So let's dig further into S-MIME. One of the things that we've added a lot of innovation to are a few areas that I'd like to highlight before Lindsay touches it much further. One of those things happens to be the secure email gateway. One of the problems with S-MIME certificates that I know that I've talked to customers about is how do I search my encrypted emails? And one of the things that, of course, with, with, when you're just using certif SMIME certificates themselves, is an encrypted email could be quite difficult to search. But a secure email gateway takes advantage of the encryption key escrow service, which then allows a gateway to do a search mechanism on encrypted emails on your behalf. It's, d it's doing this in a very secure manner and then gets rid of that main adoption point issue that plagues S-MIME. Thankfully, we've innovated to solve that problem. Again, the encryption key escrow service, it, which is important for that secure email gateway, is also used to solve the problem where you might lose your S-MIME certificate. If you need to reprovision um, a directory service or a mobile device, or a laptop or a desktop computer where you happen to be using a copy of that S-MIME certificate, those certificates are kept in a safe place and whenever, whenever they're re-needed, either for the gateway service or reprovisioning, or even if you lose them, that, that secure place is now part of the automated S-MIME management system that Sectigo has. And one of the systems that I'd like to highlight always when I talk about innovation and PKI innovation within S-MIME specifically has to do with new technologies in mobile devices. The operating systems behind Apple's iPhone, as well as uh, Android devices, are now including MDM, or mobile device management-like technologies, that we've actually embraced and taken advantage of to be able to have what we like to call a zero-touch provisioning. What used to be quite difficult in terms of provisioning users into your enterprise with SMIME certificates has now been made far more easy. That's something that Again, Linz will be touching on a little more in his roadmap. Let's go a little bit further in, in mobile devices and talk about how things have changed. I know that in the past, really wasn't that long ago, where m much of what we did in an enterprise environment was dominated by a Microsoft stack of technologies. And let's take a look just at one particular set of technologies with mobile devices. Where does Microsoft stack of technologies sit within that? This slide suggests that it's less than a third of a percent but I, I would say that this is probably even less than that. And so therefore, 
PKI really needs to go beyond what was part of just the, the Microsoft tech stack of technologies, the Microsoft CA, which many of you are, are familiar with, and realize that you either have to go with an entirely new PKI that can actually deal with these operating systems beyond the Microsoft stack, or you need to augment your Microsoft stack in order to be able to deal with these other operating systems. And that's something else that, uh, as Sectigo, part of our design philosophy is to be able to deal with these new operating systems and new platforms that you'll be facing in your modern enterprise. So to push that analogy further, it's really all about trying to get those identities into all the different places where you need them. So whether you're wrapping your Microsoft CA proxy so that you can actually get certificates out into your networking equipment or your laptops as you might have for a very long time, but also REST APIs in order to be able to have a very custom programmatic experience to provision certificates into applications or any other place where you happen to need them. One of the other things you'll see Sectigo doing is embrace non-proprietary or open standards of provisioning technology. Many of you who in the mobile operating systems know about SCEP, but for other technologies such as IoT, we're now seeing provisioning standards such as Enrollment Over Secure Transport, or EST. But we also embrace uh, proprietary EMM or MDM standards as well to provision your mobile devices. Certificates are going everywhere. And the ability to provision into each of these types of technology within your and modern enterprise is very important. So therefore, part of the innovation has been not just the automation of certificate issuance, but the, the provisioning technologies that are important to being, get those certificates from the issuing platform to the destination that you need them.